Welcome to Authenticate Talk. Today I'd like to welcome Brett Holt from the Alliance of Crop, Soil, and Environmental Science Societies. Brett, can you briefly describe your organization and your role there? We are ACCESS, which is the Alliance of Crop, Soil, and Environmental Science Societies, um, comprised of three scientific societies, the Crop Science Society of America, American Society of Agronomy, and Soil Science Society of America. I am our submission services manager, so my job here is to handle all incoming submissions to our eight journals. Um, I manage two tracking systems, and then I will manage the manuscripts as they go through their review process. How many articles do you publish annually uh, versus how many submissions, and do you know what percentage of submissions contain plagiarism or some form of misconduct? In 2010, we published right around 1,100 articles. Last year, I had about 2,500 submissions, but that um, has been steadily rising every year for the past eight or so years. Right now, I am seeing just shy of 3% that require our attention. We are obviously uh, speaking with you today because you are an Authenticate customer. When and how did you discover that there may be duplicate content in the submissions you were receiving from authors and researchers? Well, what actually happened was um, last year a manuscript going through review. Um, at this time, we weren't using Authenticate. Um, and a technical editor assigned to that manuscript kind of by accident happened to be reading another manuscript and noticed some differences between, or some similarities rather, between the two. Um, he contacted us and then we decided we should begin taking steps to um, address this issue. And that's when we started looking at different services and decided we would go with Authenticate. What was your editorial process prior to using Authenticate and how has it changed? Prior to Authenticate, we did not have a screening process, um, I, partially because we weren't completely familiar with the tools available, and it hadn't been a real major issue, and so it was never at the forefront of our attention. Once we ran into an issue, it became something that we needed to discuss, and we decided that it would it, it, it's an existing issue, we know, and wanted to combat it. So now um, our process is every time a manuscript is submitted, it comes to me first. Um, I will run it through Authenticate. If there's no issue, it gets forwarded to the editor and we'll go out for a review. If there is an issue, I will send that report um, to the editor of the journal and then they will deal with each um, instance of plagiarism on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, if it's you know, minor to moderate self-plagiarism, we can work with the author to make the adequate revisions to put it through review. If it's extensive plagiarism of another author's work, um, often it is just released outright, but again, it's a it's a case-by-case -case basis. What kind of repercussions is Access most concerned about? For us, the number one um, issue is just being sure that we are protecting the integrity of our science. Um, we're dedicated to publishing novel research. Um, we wouldn't want to see our research reproduced elsewhere, and likewise, we don't want to be reproducing previously published research in our journals. Um, for us to, to publish previously published materials would just, it, it ends up being a disservice to our members. Do you see plagiarism as a growing problem within the STM industry as a whole? I think it's a problem that has existed for some time, but now we have the tools to combat it. Um, I think there is a problem with researchers are continually under pressure to publish more papers more quickly. And I think a lot of what we're seeing is they are at times finding ways to cut corners. Um, but with products like Authenticate, I, I think we can begin to add the problem and reduce plagiarism. Um, and I think publishers should be taking those active steps to stop plagiarism. It better protects the integrity of the science and it better serves our readership.
What kind of advice do you have for other scientific, technical, and medical journals? The best advice I can give is because this is with the Web 2.0 and how quickly um, plagiarism can be identified, I think it is incredibly important to take those steps to identify it. Um, it really doesn't take time or too much work, and in the end, the benefits far away the work. What do you think specifically makes Authenticate most valuable to your organization? More simple than I expected it to be, and the best thing about it is that it's so quick. Um, having a, a fairly decent amount of manuscripts coming through and wanting to get those out to review as quick as possible in 30 seconds. I can give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down, which is great. I, I need that efficiency to keep everything moving. Authenticate gives us the peace of mind that, our, that we are continuing to publish leading edge research. Brett, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Your input, I'm sure, is a great help to other STM publishers and other societies out there who are interested in ensuring content integrity. It's been a pleasure talking with you, Jessica. Thank you very much for your time.